0 to 50 in 6.3 seconds and efficient aerodynamics. Experience. R and 7, one of the world's great driving experiences. And the first generation Mazda RX-7 was a game changer when it debuted in 1978. It was not only propelled by an unusual rotary engine, but it was also light, practical and thoroughly modern with a large rear glass hatch. This is the story of the Mazda RX-7. The newly introduced Mazda RX-7 was affordable, which allowed more enthusiasts to get behind the wheel of the RX-7. The Series 1 RX-7 was introduced in March of 1978 and replaced the Savannah RX-3. Brakes for the Mazda RX-7 were discs front and drum rear on the base S models, while the upmarket fully loaded GSL models had discs all around and a limited slip differential. Suspension was independent front with a four-link solid axle rear end located by Watt's linkage. It included McPherson coil and struts. The RX-7's 12A 1.1 liter rotary engine produced just 100 horsepower, but its compact size allowed it to be mounted low and behind the front axle for a superior center of gravity and weight distribution compared to a conventional reciprocating engine. Curb weight of the 1978 Mazda RX-7 was at 2,350 pounds and had a top speed of 126 miles per hour. In May of 1980, Mazda introduced a limited production run of special North American models known as the Leather Sport Models. This package was essentially an uprated GS model with an added LS badge on each B-pillar, special stripes on the exterior, and LS-only gold anodized wheels. The black forest where Porsches stretch out and run. What's a Mazda RX-7 doing here? Making a point about outstanding value in a sports car. The Series 2 Mazda RX-7, referred to as the FB, was produced from 1981 through 1983. It had integrated plastic covered bumpers, wide black rubber body side moldings, wraparound taillights and updated engine control components. The dashboard was redesigned including a shorter gear stick mounted closer to the driver. In 1983, the 130 mile per hour speedometer returned for the RX-7. It's 209 kilometers per hour if you're outside the US. The Series 2 RX-7 still had the 1.1 liter 12A rotary engine. New bumpers were introduced as well as the new optional GSL package. The GSL package provided optional four wheel disc brakes and clutch type rear limited slip differential. Horsepower was rated at 101. Curb weight was now 2,500 pounds and it had a top speed of 126 miles per hour. Experience Mazda! The first thing you notice about the Mazda RX-7 is its sleek, slippery styling. The Series 3 Mazda RX-7 was produced from 1984 through 1985. Featured an updated lower front fascia. North American models received a different instrument cluster. The GSL package was continued into this series, but Mazda introduced the GSL SE submodel. The GSL SE had a fuel injected 1,308 cc or 1.3 liter 13B RE EGI engine, rated at 135 horsepower. The GSL SE models had much the same options as the GSL, but the brake rotors were larger, allowing Mazda to use the more common lug nuts and a new bolt pattern. Also, they had upgraded the suspension with stiffer springs and shocks. Curb weight of the 84 and 85 Mazda RX-7 was at 2,515 pounds and had a maximum speed of 126 miles per hour. Because of the smoothness inherent in the Wankel rotary engine, little vibration or harshness was experienced at high engine speeds. So a buzzer was fitted to the tachometer to warn the driver when the 7,000 RPM red line was approaching. Nothing clears my head better than a romp down a road like this. If that doesn't make sense to you, then this car probably won't either. 
The Series 4 Mazda RX-7 was produced from 1986 through the 1988 model year and was available with a naturally aspirated fuel-injected 13B VDEI, producing 146 horsepower. Rack and pinion steering was introduced, replacing the old recirculating ball. The new design now had a low drag coefficient of 0.3. It also had a rear independent suspension, which was auto adjusting. Curb weight was at 2,701 pounds and top speed was now at 135 miles per hour. Mazda also introduced the 10th anniversary RX-7 in 1988 as a limited production model based on the RX-7 Turbo 2. Production was limited to 1,500 units. The 10th Anniversary RX-7 features a crystal white monochromatic paint scheme with matching white body side moldings, tail light housings, mirrors and 16 inch alloy 7 spoke wheels. This RX-7 also has one of the most advanced suspension systems in the world. It loves to be driven hard. Check it out. The Series 5 Mazda RX-7 was produced from 1989 through 1992 and featured updated styling and better engine management as well as lighter rotors and higher compression ratios. The naturally aspirated Series 5 13B DEI engine was rated at 160 horsepower, while the Series 5 Turbo was rated at 200 horsepower. It now had four piston front brakes, had a top speed of 135 miles per hour with a curb weight of 2,789 pounds. Mazda sold 86,000 RX-7s in the U.S. alone in 1986, its first model year with sales peaking in 1988. The Mazda RX-7, Motor Trend's 1993 import car of the year. The Series 6 RX-7 was sold from 1993 through 1995 in the U.S. and in Canada. A 5-speed manual transmission was standard and a 4-speed automatic was available on the base model and touring package. The touring package included a glass moonroof, fog lights, leather seats, a rear window wiper and a Bose Acoustic Wave music system with CD player. The Series 6 was rated at 255 horsepower. It had a 0 to 60 time of 4.9 seconds, a top speed of 157 miles per hour, and a curb weight of 2,861 pounds. This would be the final year of the RX-7 production in North America. Well, hey, hey, there you have it. The story of the Mazda RX-7, 1978 through 1995. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Leave us your comments below. We want to know. Um, did you have one? If you did or do, post it on our Facebook page. It's the Boca Brothers Facebook page. We want to see it. Hey, thanks to all of our subscribers for supporting the channel. We could not do this without you. So thank you very much. If you're not a subscriber, hey, like this video and share it. Help us out by subscribing to our channel. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell for future notifications. This is Michael J. with the Boca Brothers. Thanks for watching.